On this edition of the Coffers, a meltdown is imminent. We are wrapping up my Super 7 purchases with this bad boy right here. The one I've been looking forward to the most, which is the 12,000 centigrees Godzilla, which is essentially Meltdown Godzilla. So I, of all the ultimates, this is the one I've been waiting on the most because this, from the pictures, is the most metal looking Godzilla figure I have ever seen. So we're going to... Take a look at this bad boy and uh, open him up and see how he uh, see how he looks. So first things first with the packaging, like Destroya, there is this embossing as you can see, although it's got the 12,000 centigrees on there with the kanji. But the thing I didn't even really notice until I sat this down is that the artwork on the cover slip which has the melted rib cages, which this, I mean, and it's not even the same. Look at that. It's different on each side. This, and this is awesome. And they even got it on the top. Gives you an idea. So on the back, we just got, yes, Godzilla vs. Destroyer with just the gaping wounds and holes everywhere. And as you can see, there's still this embossing all around. So that is the cover slip, which is pretty, pretty goddamn metal. Let's take this off and check out the figure underneath. And there we are. Look at him. He is awesome. So let's look at the figure under the box underneath. So pretty basic. So the back is where all the new stuff is. <clears throat> the Noriyoshi Orai poster and then there's what we have right there read all that all right let's open this bad boy and check out the figure inside People, don't open in haste, otherwise you do dumb dumb crap like this. Uh, well, it's a good thing I'm keeping this thing. So here he is on the plastic. Gives you an idea. So after about 10 minutes of trying to get him out of the plastic, here are all the pieces. So we got the tail, the extra head, and the body so let's put this on this and see how the figure is going to look all right we got the tail on which shockingly took no effort whatsoever didn't even have to pull out the hair dryer so let's check this bad boy out look at him look at the detailing on this this is by far the most metal godzilla figure i have ever owned or have ever seen um there have been a few skeleton pieces of the original one, but never anything like this. I mean, the detailing, just the concept of this figure alone is insane. And that it got past is, um, that's also quite insane too. So as you can see, even the spikes, everything, this isn't just a basic uh, reuse of the mold of the uh, Burning Godzilla that Super 7 had put out. This is, this is a lot of new sculpt. A lot of new tooling. They really made sure that uh, if you're going to do another Meltdown Godzilla, that they were going to get your money out of it. I mean, I have several Meltdown Godzillas. And after, you know, at this point, I'm like, I'm good. There's really nothing else you can offer me. But then Super 7 came along. I was like, no, 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 let's just wait. So, uh, 
he has this translucent molding on him. You can actually see, as you can see, the light that I have is kind of shining through. So as you can see there, the molding is somewhat translucent, really giving it a cool look. I mean, look, you can, if the camera's picking it up, you can kind of see the light pass through on some of this. Uh, overall, articulation-wise, he is damn solid. He is an action figure, so he has movement in the neck. But you can not just open this guy up, so he's a little stiff, but as you can see, yes, there's full movement. Full movement in the head. The neck's crazy, because look at it. It's just, it's all wasting away. I love it. He's got the bony arm with full, as you can see, sorry, full swivel. And it is on a, uh, it's on a joint, hand as well, full joint. Shoulder, appears to be ball and socket, and so it moves up and down. The other one, yes, as you can see, yeah, so pretty much the same ball and socket. You get the full, absolute full articulation. So the chest chest does look like it moves but this thing is I just opened this bad boy up so it's a little stiff legs similar to destroyers that I reviewed fall on there up and down on a joint and a ball as you can see kind of love that they left the one foot completely unscathed so there's a slight joint on the leg as well as you can see there Again, everything's stiff, so just, you know, maybe take a hair dryer to them, loosen them up. <clears throat> the tail, which I had, again, shockingly no problem getting on, is segmented, as you can see, and then it gets up here where it gets real gnarly. Still, you get the segmenting. The design and the detailing actually on the bone is damn nice like i gotta give credit i'm 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 much like the destroyer i'm in love with this thing it is completely metal so let us take the one lone accessory and let's put it on see how it looks and just to compare and contrast the two heads so here's the melted head and then there's the complete skull All right, here he is with the skull with the skull on. He does have a uh, joint in the jaw, so you can give it a full full range, either roaring or not. If anything, this reminds me of the scene in RoboCop 2 when uh, OCP is trying to show off the various different uh, RoboCop 2 uh, creations, and the one takes off the Help me just see the skull underneath just going ah um other than that yes i absolutely love this guy he ran uh 85 bucks he is a damn good figure look i i've i've seen people complain about the quality of the super seven uh reactions and super seven ultimates thus far um the destroyer set i i have no qualms about i i love these things as an action figure, it has all the right all the right things that I need. The detailing is here. Uh, I don't need 5,000 accessories. The skull is a nice touch, though, because uh, this can be used for all kinds of other things. And, um, I again, this is the most metal Godzilla figure I own now. And I love that this guy exists. So, yes, it is, uh, it is a wild out there concept but like i said if you're going to do a meltdown godzilla you got to give me something more to get me to shout my money at this point and they did i never thought i'd see the day where literally a zombified dot in his dying throws godzilla uh, figure would ever be made especially as an action figure maybe a garage kit but not like this so overall a fantastic figure i cannot recommend it enough along with the destroyer the destroyer is 
amazing. Well, actually, let me pause and let me show you, compare and contrast with the Destroyer. And there you go. There's the two together. As you can see, a great set. Actually, a great set. I, I can't, I find no qualms with this whatsoever. Um, for the price point, again, 110 85 you know, these are limited editions. They are meant for adult collectors. So you are definitely, you're paying for some quality. As you can see, the light is really popping on the, the translucentness of the Meltdown Godzilla. So there you have it, guys. That is Super 7's Godzilla vs. Destroyer set. So I don't have the Meltdown one, or I, not the Meltdown, but the Burning Godzilla. I didn't bother with that. Like I said, I have more Burning Godzillas than I know what to do with. So this guy, definitely worth it. Destroya is definitely worth it. These are high quality figures. Again, whatever issues were in those first two waves, I have not seen at all. Um, I do have the Comic-Con exclusive one here that I'll be opening up pretty soon for a review. But I cannot recommend enough these two figures so and that will wrap it up for this edition of the coffers if you like what you see remember we do have a show it is called the kaiju kingdom podcast you could find us at the kaiju kingdom podcast.com where you can download all of our new episodes or if you don't like downloading we are on all of your favorite podcast streamers you can also give us a follow on social media we are on x and instagram at the Kaiju Kingdom and Facebook.com slash the Kaiju Kingdom Podcast. And with that, that will wrap up wrap up this episode. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>